good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about engine management system case study in mechatronics system this topic is present in the subject mechatronics let us start discussing the topic engine management system case study in mechatronics engine management system is nowadays used in many of the modern cars such as benz mitsubishi and toyota etc the system uses many electronic control system involving microcontrollers the generalized block diagram of this system is shown here block diagram of a engine management system is represented here in this block we are having a microcontroller for controlling the overall process the inputs we are having are engine speed sensor engine temperature sensor throttle position mass flow air sensor oxygen sensor knock sensor oil pressure sensor fuel pressure sensor these are fed to the signal conditioning circuits the analog circuits analog inputs we are having are adc and analog outputs uh, we are having dac and the in the output side we are having engine oil drivers fuel injection drivers solenoid drivers solenoid drivers data bus drivers the entire process is controlled by microcontroller the objective of the system being to ensure that the engine is operated at its optimum settings the system consists of many sensors for observing vehicle speed engine temperature oil and fuel pressure air flow etc a single cylinder engine consists of some of these elements in relation to an engine shown here the engine sensor is an inductive type it consists of a coil and sensor wheel the inductance of the coil changes as the teeth of the sensor wheel pass it and so results in an oscillating voltage the engine temperature sensor is generally thermocouple which is made of bimetallic strip or a thermistor the resistance of the thermistor changes with the change in engine temperature this results in voltage variation hot wire anemometer is used as a sensor for measuring mass air flow rate the basic principle is that the heated wire will be cooled as air passes over it the amount of cooling is depending on the mass rate of flow the oil and pressure sensors are diaphragm type sensors according to the pressure variation the diaphragm may contract or expand and activate strain gauges which produces voltage variation in the circuit the oxygen sensor is usually a closed end tube which is made of zirconium oxide with the porous platinum electrode on the inner and outer surfaces the sensor becomes permeable to oxygen ions at about 300 degrees celsius the various drivers such as fuel injectors injector drivers ignition coil drivers are also used here solenoid drivers are used to actuate actuate according to the signal by various sensors analog signals given by sensors are converted into di digital signal by using analog to digital converters and send it to microcontrollers the various output digital signals are converted into analog signals by 
digital to analog converter and shown in various recorders or meters. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.